everyone, my name is Sarah Falahiri from VLMS.net. In this video, I want to show you how you can use distributed firewall or DFW to create firewall rules in NSXT. As first part of explaining DFW in NSXT, I also wrote a blog post on VLMS.net, which I put the link in the description of this video. If you like the content, press on like and also subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we add a new video. So let's get to it. Before starting firewall rule creation, you need to build the NSXT infrastructure. Besides, you need to specify what sort of application and traffic you want to define. For this demo, I want to create a rule that prevents ICMP traffic between web and database servers. But before I start the configuration in NSXT, let's check the servers in vSphere environment. Here I have deployed two web servers and two database servers. Web servers are connected to segment 01 and database servers are connected to segment 02 in NSXT environment. Let's also check the IP address and connectivity of these servers before applying any firewall rules. Web server 01 has IP address of 10.10.1.11 and web server 02 has IP address of 10.10.1.12. On the other side, database 01 has IP address of 10.10.2.11 and database 02 has IP address of 10.10.2.12. I log into web server 01 and try to ping the first database server. As you can see, I can successfully ping database server because there is no firewall rule to restrict the connectivity. Now that we have seen web and database servers in vSphere, let's log into NSXT Manager and create a firewall rule to block ICMP traffic. From the top menu, choose Inventory, Groups, and here I create security groups which I will use later on when I create rules. Click on Add Group and give it a proper name, then click on Add Members. Here there are different options to select the members but I specify them by add the actual VMs. So under Members, I select both Web Server 1 and Web Server 2. Then I repeat the same procedure for database servers. I create the second security group and name it as Database Servers and add Database 01 and Database 02 as the static members of this group. To create the actual DFW rule, I go to Security, Distributed Firewall and here under Application section, I start the process of creating rules. Click on Add Policy and specify a name for this policy section, then publish it. Then I click on three dots beside the policy and choose Add Rule. First I name the rule and then I click the small pen beside the source to choose the web server security group I just created earlier. Then I specify database server security group as a destination. For the service, I choose ICMP. Then I need to determine where I want to apply this rule. I can leave it as it is, which means it will apply to DFW or I can be more specific and apply this rule to the security groups I created. Here I choose both source and destination, so this rule apply only to Vinica virtual machines that belong to the security groups. As I want to prevent the ICMP traffic between web and database servers in action, I choose drop and at the end I publish this rule. Before I move on and test the result of this rule, I make sure that it successfully applies and the status is green and completed. As we define the rule, let's go and check how the ICMP traffic has been affected between web servers and database servers. I go back to web server 01 and once again try to ping the first database. As you can see, I'm not able to ping the database server anymore. And by this, we reach to the end of this video and hopefully I could show you how easily you can create firewall rules in NSXT. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.